Hi everyone, this is Dr. Joanne Cacciatore. This Bits and Pieces uh, is inspired by a conversation I had this morning with a bereaved mom who was in a lot of emotional pain because last week she shared with a very close friend how sad she was because her only son died and she would never have grandchildren. And then this week her friend sends her a, an email with a photograph of her three grandchildren. And this is similar to the advice that I give friends who's fr who's um, who know a bereaved mom who's a friend of theirs whose baby died and they're having a baby shower for themselves now and they want to invite the grieving mother whose baby just died to a baby shower. And one of the things I say that's so important is you can invite her and let her decline if she feels like she can't go because that's sensitive. But please acknowledge her baby, acknowledge Johnny and say, you know, we know this would be hard for you and we understand if you can't come. And it's the same thing with this picture. Had you contextualize it, had this person sent an email with the picture and said, I'm attaching a photo of my grandchildren. If you can't look at it, that's okay. But I want you to know that I'm, I'm really deeply sad that your son doesn't get to have children. It's different because you're acknowledging, while you're acknowledging something that you have, you're also acknowledging something that this person has lost and there's something for most people that softens the impact of that so what I try to encourage people to do is engage in transparent honest and vulnerable communication around grief and even when it's awkward say like I I I someone whose spouse just died and you're getting married I I would love to invite you to the wedding and you certainly are welcome to come and also I know this might be hard for you and so we'll respect you and love you no matter what you decide. We don't do enough of that. We do a lot of dancing around, but we don't do enough direct, vulnerable, honest communication. And I think that's not too much to ask for from a bunch of grown-ups in the world. So just one little thing that we could do perhaps to be a better friend. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Joe with Bits and Pieces, Ahimsa for All Beings.